Good morning. It's Friday, July 15th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, Nobody Wins, and our scripture is Genesis chapter 13. So Abram left Egypt and traveled north into the Negev along with his wife and Lot and all they owned. Abram was very rich in livestock, silver, and gold. From the Negev, they continued traveling by stages toward Bethel, and they pitched their tents between Bethel and Ai, where they had camped before. This was the same place where Abram had built the altar, and there he worshipped the Lord again. Lot, who was traveling with Abram, had also become very wealthy with flocks of sheep and goats, herds of cattle, and many tents. But the land could not support both Abram and Lot with all their flocks and herds living so close together. So disputes broke out between the herdsmen of Abram and Lot. At that time, Canaanites and Perizzites were also living in the land. Finally, Abram said to Lot, Let's not allow this conflict to come between us or our herdsmen. After all, we are close relatives. The whole countryside is open to you. Take your choice of any section of the land you want, and we will separate. If you want the land to the left, then I'll take the land on the right. If you prefer the land on the right, then I'll go to the left. I'm certain this text has found its way into many a sermon in the United Methodist Church over the years, more so of late. Sometimes it seems leaving the UMC is the only thing some folks care about. With all the stubbornness of two mountain goats that meet on a narrow path and refuse to yield an inch, headbutting is the political death knell to brotherhood. This is not to say that conflict can't have a positive effect. Sometimes it's the necessary forerunner to resolution. It was that way for Abram and Lot. Their success was not a problem. Rather, it was an evidence of God's blessing. In terms of the current stalemate of progressives versus traditionalists in today's UMC, Abram and Lot's success is a valuable reminder of the God-given progress of the Wesleyan movement of old. Failure to make adequate preparations for the expanded need both families would experience was the problem. Even so, when the dispute began to get heated, it was critical that both sides have the Abram mind of giving the other side a workable solution that honored brotherhood over things in power. That said, we must apply the principle to 2022 UMC doings. It is a very strange and sad thing when people who say they serve God can't manage to offer God's grace and kindness in the necessary parting of ways. It would be safe to say that I'm firmly on the traditionalist side of the theological issues fueling this fire of discontent in the UMC, but I have no desire to see judgment rain down on those in the other camp. Nobody wins that kind of war. Getting back to the mountain goats, I read an account told by one who knows goats well. It seems a common occurrence in places like Switzerland's Alps that when two goats going in opposite directions meet on very narrow cliff paths, one will kneel, allowing the other to step over him. In that way, both can pursue their journey. For you today. Call it kindness or call it wisdom to refrain from destroying what's left of the United Methodist tribe. If we cannot act at least as kindly as goats do with their brothers, what hope do we have of being any help to the rest of the world? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.